UPS Basic Knowledge Huawei UPS Solutions This is the Huawei UPS Family Overview. And from this diagram, we can see that Huawei's UPS devices range from 1 to 800 kilovolts amperes. Huawei's UPS series is divided into the UPS 2000 series and the UPS 5000 series. The UPS 2000 series is subdivided into the UPS 2000A series and UPS 2000G series. The A series supports tower mounted UPS devices, whereas the G series supports both tower mounted and rack mounted UPS devices, and both their capacities are less than 20 kilovolts amperes. Next, there's the UPS 5000 series, which is divided into UPS 5000A, UPS 5000E, and UPS 5000S. The appearance of UPS 5000A, UPS 5000E, and UPS 5000S is very similar, but the difference between them is that the UPS 5000E and UPS 5000S are modular UPS devices, but the UPS 5000A is not. Then, there is the integrated UPS 5000E, which consists of the UPS device itself, automatic transfer switch, or molded case circuit breaker, and a power distribution module. That's why we call it the integrated UPS. It is a combination of a normal UPS device, input power distribution frame, and out output power distribution frame. Next, we will have a simple introduction to these products. Firstly, the UPS 2000G, a small UPS solution. It's a low capacity UPS, usually used in offices or small data centers. It's powerful in spite of its size and is supported by intelligent battery management and a network-wide monitoring platform. In addition, it is highly efficient and reliable. Then there is the large and medium-sized UPS 5000E or S solution. It uses modularized design which reduces the initial construction expense. Here's an ex example of a project. The whole load capacity is 600 kilovolts amperes, divided into three phases. Each project phase requires 200 kilovolts amperes. If we use a traditional UPS device, we must purchase a 600 kilovolt amperes capacity UPS device at the beginning of the project, and thus will lead to a low running efficiency. However, if we use a modularized UPS device, we could purchase a 600 kilovolt amperes rack and four 50 kilovolt amperes power modules for the first phase. For the ne next phase, we would simply need to buy another four 50 kilovolt amperes power modules. In this way, we can save money and improve UPS device efficiency. Another important advantage of modularized design is easy maintenance as all the power modules are independent and isolated from each other. For example, if there is a 200 kilovolt amperes UPS, it is composed of four independent power modules, each with a capacity of 50 kilovolts amperes. If one power module is damaged, the UPS device continues to work in normal mode, and an alarm informs an engineer who will replace the damaged power module with a new one. Conveniently, Huawei UPS devices can be replaced within 15 minutes. Lastly, we have the large and medium sized UPS 5000A solution. It looks like the UPS 5000E series, but the difference is that the UPS 5000A doesn't have a modularized design, which means that the power modules are not independent from each other. So we can't replace the module online like we can with the UPS 5000E or S. On the plus side, the UPS 5000A solution is cheaper than the UPS 5000E 
or S. That's all for this section. Thanks for watching.